Cars are getting safer for front seat passengers, but what about for those who sit in the back? Tiffany Craig has the latest series of crash tests that put the rear seats to the test. For more than two decades, those crash tests done by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety have focused on front seats. Now those tests include passengers in the back. We're measuring uh, the likelihood of injury to that rear passenger that's now seated right behind the driver. IIHS President David Harkey says small SUVs hit a barrier at 40 miles an hour with an adult sized dummy in the front and a dummy about the size of a 12 year old in the back. All the vehicles tested got high marks for preventing injuries to the driver. But when the rear passenger was factored in, only two of the vehicles got a good rating and nine of the vehicles got a poor rating. The Volvo XC40 and Ford Escape earned a good overall grade. Now compare this crash to another vehicle that got a poor rating. The head turns violently before slamming into the seat. In another SUV, the head actually goes under the airbag and hits the door. That video you just saw, that was the Jeep Renegade, one of the vehicles that got a poor rating. So did the very popular Honda CRV and the Mazda CX-5. Seat belts are a big reason why some SUVs didn't make the grade. In the front, vehicles have belts with a tension system that lessens the force of the crash. The nine SUVs rated poor didn't have those seat belts in the back seat. Adding this kind of technology in the rear seat could certainly reduce the likelihood of you being severely injured or killed when riding in the rear of the vehicle. The IIHS says automakers know about these results and some are making changes for safety no matter where you sit in the car. Tiffany Craig, KHOU 11 News. If you want to read about all of the SUVs tested, you'll find the info right now on KHOU.com.